Whoa, go on, go on. Welcome to the channel. Today we're looking for weird ways to start fires. One of the easiest ways to start a fire is get you a striker and some jute. There we go. Hot. You can get one of these torch strikers at Ace for like $4. You can take a cotton ball and put some rubbing alcohol on it. You could take some of this and put it in one of those little eight ounce bottles and carry it with you. Hey, it's handy. Hey, it's still going. You can take a lid and put some alcohol in it. You need some jute. This little thing will burn forever. Ooh, it's hot. Of course you got the old jump start method. Hey, if your car's broke down, that'll work. You always have the steel wool and nine volt battery trick. Now for this, you need the thin steel wool. The thick steel wool won't work as well. Hey, get your battery, your steel wool. Easy as that. Blow it into a fire. That's probably the fastest way to start a fire. You really want to separate this jute into fine strips. This jute you can get at the hardware store for like five bucks for a hundred foot roll. You just want to separate it real fine like that. I'm going to soak this steel wool in water and see if it still works. All right. Soaked in water. Let's see if it still lights on fire. Now that doesn't work. It's lighting, but it's dying real fast. So you want to keep your steel wool dry. Wet versus dry. See how fast that goes up? You bring some alcohol in a steel wool, it's going to catch on fire. You can see online where they take a cotton ball and put some ash in it and two flat pieces of wood and rub them together real fast and then start a fire. Yeah, you can do that, but it's a freaking pain. It's not really practical for a survival situation because where are you going to find two flat pieces of wood out in the wilderness? Now you may think, what's the fastest way to start a fire out in the wilderness, huh? Like that. They sell little mini torches. Hey, that wouldn't be a bad idea. If you're out hunting and you got a shotgun shell, cut that sucker open. Just remove the plug and there's gunpowder in the bottom. That'd work good if it's wet outside. Now for a weird method. It says you can take pool shock and brake fluid and hit it to combust. Kind of nervous about trying this. Let's do a small test run. Make a little hole in it. Y'all think this is gonna work? Uh, that ain't doing nothing. Maybe I got the wrong shock. Maybe I need some pure chlorine. This brake fluid says synthetic, so I'm gonna try this kind. Whoa, go on, go on. Oh my God, smoking like a chimney right there. Is it gonna combust? It sure smoked, it never combusted though. Let's see what that does. That stuff sure does stink, I give it that. There it goes, there it goes. Combust. Man, that thing smokes, woo. That could not be good for you. It's not catching fire, guys. Maybe I need a chlorine tablet. So far, I'm not impressed. I got a chlorine tablet, so let's try that. I'm gonna smash it up. If this don't work, I'm gonna call this a bust. It looks like cocaine. We're gonna try this one outside. I'm just gonna use every bit of it. Let's do it. This is the last chance I'm giving this. Here we go. Pure chlorine right here, guys. Here we go, see what happens. If this doesn't catch fire, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Here we go, guys. Oh my God, it's already on fire. That instantly caught fire. This stuff freaking stinks. You wanna take a little chlorine and some brake fluid on your next hiking trip, it will start a fire. Thanks for watching and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.